Good morning. Today is Cadr Idris. So we're camped at the foot of the Minford Park and it is about half four. So not quite gonna catch the sunlight at the top, but we'll get it as it comes up over on the way up, maybe by the lake hopefully. So we'll see how this goes. Got a, a bit of a, a dodgy knee, so got some painkillers just to try and ease that off. Hopefully not too bad though. It is known as the steepest of all the climbs up the Cadre Driss, but it is the shortest. So uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. But I would rather be doing this with uh, <laughs> with a, a, a knee that's a hundred percent. So I'll uh, I'll give you a shout. Probably a little bit later, once the sun's up, maybe up by the lake, just to uh, show you some views. So just coming up to the lake now, uh, we've just come from that way, so if you're doing SB1, <laughs> there are some seriously steep stairs and a bit of a, a harsh ascent to start, I guess you, uh, it wakes you up in the morning, put it that way, but the path itself, the Minford path, goes up there, but we're going to just quickly hop over here uh, and go and have a little five minutes by the lake. Just chill out and uh, get some energy back in the legs before we get up there. Uh, so we've got the ridge line there, which you follow along up to, I can't remember the name of that one. And then you go around and the summit is actually just over the back there. So you, you can't uh, actually see the summit of Cadridris from here pretty much until you're at it really. So uh, yeah, like I said, just going to chill out by the lake for, uh, for five minutes and uh, hopefully get some nice drone shots. So we're pretty much at the top of 
the second climb or steep climb I should say from here just kind of follow the ridge round but I thought you might want to take a look at that so I'm just catching the peaks there couldn't think of better things to be doing on a Monday morning really So we're just very nearly at the first of the two summits. Uh, bit of a rocky scree path to get up there, but easily doable. Even with a dicky knee. So quick hop over here, just drop down into a little bit of a call and then up. Can't quite see it from here to the uh, to the summit. So I'll give you a shout a little bit further on. I tell you what, it's a difference in Snowden. I know we set off a little bit earlier today, but haven't seen a soul. There was a, a couple of guys camping down by the lake, but considering in Snowden we were queuing to the summit. Absolute silence. Just on a final push now to the summit. Lots of rocks, lots of scree. Not really a, a defined path, you just kind of make your own way. A few cairns to, uh, to follow, so you know where you're going roughly. So I think another 10 minutes or so, we'll be at the top. I'll see you there. There she is, summit, and we got treated to that as well, and just to top it off, treated to a view of Snowden, let's go touch the trig.
so that's it, cadre drift. Going straight in at number one of my favourite summit. I don't know whether the cloud inversion might have something to do with it, but I'm not sure. You could have asked for better. Finally, finally the channel's got the views you needed. <laughs> I've had so many grey days and this is just on a different level. So if you enjoyed it guys, make sure you hit the like button and if you want to see some more videos, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Sorry, you're still second off. Just breathing, man. Did you? Oh, you've done this one, Yeah, I just like that.